Do you want to upload your data from an Excel into monday.com? Let me show you two easy ways that you can upload all of that data directly into monday.com so you don't need to do it manually. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. There are two different ways to upload an Excel file to your monday.com boards. The first way is to upload the information to an existing board. So I'm essentially adding data to a board that already exists within my account. The second way is to add a new board. So that information is going to create a new board when you upload it. I'd love to know in the comments below which method you prefer and why. Now we're going to start with the first method of uploading information to an existing board. So here you can see my task board. And I have a whole bunch of tasks and a number of different columns. Now, I actually downloaded this board in a different video about how to download to an Excel. And there's a link to it above if you're interested in that. So I'm going to use that Excel file to re-upload the information. Now, this is a good idea if you want to figure out how you can map your columns and what the titles are based on your board. So you can use this as a template and then fill in the information in Excel and upload it. So I'm gonna open my Excel just to show you. And you can see here, I have the name column, client, date, status, Batman and Robin, which are people column and a priority column. Now I'm gonna close my Excel and I'm gonna click on this carrot and click on import tasks. Now I'm gonna find my file and I'm gonna open it. I'm going to click next. The first thing that I need to do is to start mapping my data. So I'm just going to go through each column and choose what column type it is. So the first is client. I can clearly see that it matches client. The second is due date. Again, pretty straightforward. Next is status. Now you can see Batman and Robin are people columns and they're grayed out. That's because those columns cannot be uploaded to from an Excel to Monday. So just be careful because there are certain columns that you can't upload and I'm going to add priority. Now I'm going to click to next and I can decide here if I want to create new items, skip items that already exist or overwrite existing items. Now I'm going to just create new items and I'm going to hit start import. And you can see that my data is being imported. Now this will create a new group within this Monday board. So here you can see that I have the name of the file, which was this. Now, unfortunately, it does sometimes pull in some of the top columns in your Excel. So you may want to clean up your Excel before you, before you do it. But you can see I have all the clients, all the dates, the statuses, and the priority. And remember, the Batman and Robin was not able to be uploaded. So that's why this information is not here. Now, the second way to upload in Excel is to click on this plus button. And here you can click on import data. Now, just it's really important to know there's a lot of different programs that you can import data from Excel, Google Sheets, Asana, Trello, Basecamp. You can see a lot of different options here. But for this video, I'm going to show you Excel. So I'm going to click on Excel. And again, I have to browse. So I'm going to find my document. And now I can customize new, my new board. Now, remember, I'm setting up a new board. So I need to decide what my first row is. And that's actually going to be this row because this information is not really relevant because I want like my title headers to be name, client, date. So I'm going to click next. And then I can decide what my first column is. I'm going to click next. And then I can map all the columns. Like this client column is saying date column, but I know that's not right. So I'm going to change it to a status column. And here you see I have the information. This is a date column. This one is status. Now, Batman and Robin, remember, I want it to be a person column, but you can't do it. So I can decide to put it in the status column and it will create a new column just to show you what it looks like. And I can I'll do this one text and priority is a status column. So now I need to create my new board. And here you can see I have the board name and I have all of the information that I had on my Excel uploaded. Now, here is the name of the file. You can see there's no group name here. 
but I essentially has the exact same information that I had on my other board, except that my Batman column is a status column and my Robin column is a text column. Now, if this happens and you want to upload information and the column is restricted, there are certain columns that you can change column type. So let's just try this. I have a Robin column and I want to change it to a people column. I'm not 100% sure that it's going to work. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Um, but you can, it, it is, oh, it worked. Awesome. So keep changes. Now, that would be a great example of columns that can't be uploaded with this Excel upload. But once they're uploaded to the board, you can change them to a different column type. So before you upload tons and tons of data, make sure that the columns that you're uploading can either be uploaded to the columns that you need, like the column types, or that you can upload it and then change the column types so that way they will be what you need. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.